thought it might just be worth looking at our oak barrels. We've seen an increase in sales on these, mainly because people are wanting to get some extra flavours out of their spirit. They're finding that by doing some whiskey, for example, and then putting it into the oak barrel, it really helps the maturing process. The bad news, obviously, is that you've got to keep your hands off it, certainly for at least three months, and some people are now leaving it two and three years to see that they're getting a tremendous increase in the quality of the flavours that they're actually producing. The oak barrel, you have to remember, it needs to be treated before you can actually use it. It's a natural product. It is oak. It's beautiful oak. It is fabulous. It's a real showstopper. It looks the business. But it needs to be treated. You need to get it to swell. What we recommend you do is that obviously we need the tap in position. You've got a bung in the top here. We fill the barrel completely full of cold water. That will let the wood expand so that it joins up and makes a really solid seal. So we need to leave it at least 48 hours for that to happen. It might need to be repeated depending on whether it's done the job or not, but bearing in mind it's wood and the water will make it expand. So it might take a little bit of time. The manufacturers recommend about 48 hours, but as I say, it can take longer. Now the other problem that you can actually engage in is that even after several goes, it's still not doing it. In which case we recommend getting some cling film and wrapping cling film around the barrel so that we get a really good seal when we actually put the water into it and the water's not gonna leak out of the barrel. So that's a little option that you've got if it doesn't seal in time. Once you've done that, and you've done it, we then recommend that you pour water through it until the water runs clear. Once it's run clear, you're then able to put your spirit in it. The barrels are charred on the inside. They've got like a burnt charring effect on the inside, which will help to give flavor as well. We're also finding that people are using the barrels now for putting an oak effect on their beer. So this one, for example, is a 25 litre version. Put beer in it, and there's no reason why you can't put spirit in it, but put beer in it, and you'll get a lovely oaky effect on the beer. Now the thing to remember with the barrels, if you're using them for beer or for wine, you do not want any headspace. So you must make sure the barrel is full. If we get headspace, that's going to cause a potential problem of getting oxidization. With the spirit, you're at 40%. You're not going to get oxidization on that. So it's not so important. But with wine and beer, it is. And obviously these barrels are universal. They can be used for beer, spirit and wine. You've got the options of all of them. Storage of the barrels. I think that's really quite important. If you're going to store them for any length of time, we strongly recommend that you look at the humidity. You're looking at between 70 and 80 percent humidity. You don't want them in sunlight because obviously that's going to dry out the wood. You don't want them in a dry, a really dry area, but we don't want them in a damp area either. So again, storage is important. Once you've done the storage, there's actually nothing to stop you wrapping them in cling filmers again if you're storing them. So again, that's another option. But once you've stored it, if you've stored it for any length of time, we strongly again suggest that you do the process of uh, running the water through it and sorting it that way, as we did at the start. You'll need to repeat that. So I hope that's a help. We've got the oak barrels in various different sizes, which you'll see alongside the video.